So there are loads of proven and time tested ways through which you can pass any cloud job interview. And one of the most important one we are going to discuss in this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So imagine that you are in an interview and your hiring manager asks about your cloud skills. Now one way could be that you explain all about the cloud in a very theoretical way. And the other more efficient way is that you pull out your cloud certification, your cloud skill badges and showcase to them. Boom! Instant credibility. And that's the power we are going to unleash in this video. And spoiler alert that many of the resources and many of the skill badges and the certifications that we are going to discuss in this video are absolutely free. So let's start right away. First of all, I will tell you what exactly is Google Cloud Skill Boost program. And then I will give you six certifications absolutely free from Google. Wonderful certifications. Even I'm doing one of them. You will see that. And then my friends, I will also give you some pro tips. How can you maximize your learning? How can you maximize your, you know, gaining the certification? Then I will also explain the difference between the skill badges and the completion badges because many of the viewers have this confusion. Which one to do? And you will be able to understand which one is right for you. So that is the overall agenda for this video. So let's jump right in. First of all, let's go to the Google Cloud. So this is the website for the Google Cloud Skill Boost. Here you will be able to find out all the certifications and the skill badges that we will talk about more. But first of all, let me give you four simple steps. So first you need to come to the Google Cloud. You make your sign in, create your credentials here. You can use your Gmail ID. Then the second step would be that you find out and search for the certification that you want to do. And thirdly, you have to complete the study material and then you give the quizzes or the questions asked in the entire course. And once you have done that, you get a skill badge that you can flash on your LinkedIn profile or other social media platform. So once you have logged into this website, the Google Cloud Skill Boost, there are over 980 learning activities that you can choose from really widespread there are loads of uh, you know topics there are loads of technologies that you can learn and the best part is the learning the labs are really bit size small time takers so you can you know finish them here and there wherever you get some time from your life you can watch some videos there will be some documentation there will be labs and quizzes one thing i can tell you that when you are doing all these courses and certifications google will give you temporary credentials and these credentials, using these credentials, you will be able to explore all the services and the resources provided by the Google. So this is not a you know dummy course where you just read the theory and, and simply do the quizzes and pass the certification. You will have hands-on labs. So wonderful concept here. And on this screen, you can see there are multiple filters. We have any batch, we have skill batch, we have completion batch. I will come to the difference between those. Then you can choose uh, do you want to you know explore all the formats or do you want to just explore the courses or labs or learning paths? So all of that can be explored through this uh, filters given here and in case you are interested in some specific language That is also the filter given here now Let me take one example of the course and then I will explain you other aspect of the entire program So here I have selected this manage Kubernetes in the Google Cloud Wonderful course. Of course, Google is the father of Kubernetes. So yes, let's start from here. And in this course, my friends, you will be able to learn all about deploying applications in the Google Kubernetes engine, which is also known as GKE platform. And this course covers building and configuring Docker containers. Then you will understand how to debug the containerized application, which is very important for you to understand in case you land up some trouble or your application is giving some issues how to debug the same then not only that you will also be learning how to build kubernetes engine clusters and also managing the clusters with the kube ctl deploying applications with the deployments that we have uh, many ways then you will also learn the continuous delivery techniques which is the part of ci cd or the devops concept we will talk about the devops also in this video then in this course there are four labs uh, throughout the course that you have to complete and once you complete all those labs, then you will be awarded with the badge that you can share on your social media platform. And how does the badge look like? Well, this is here. You can see this here. This is the kind of badge that you will be getting once you complete the course. 
Now let me give you more understanding of this. Uh, this is all what we have already covered. We have one link, we have four labs. So all of that you have to complete. Now this is a, a important section here. Here you can understand the important aspect or FAQs that normally people have doubts on. So first of all, you will be able to understand is there any prerequisite for this course or any other course that you will do. So if there are prerequisite, then you will be seeing it here. So for example, on this one, it says that there is a prerequisite, uh, this one here, which is 116. So this one is good to learn before uh, you start this course. So this is a recommended prerequisite. Then of course, there are available language in which you can do this course. And what do you do once you are done with this course? That is also given. But here, yes, this is the important point where it says that yes, after completion of the course, you will earn a badge. So in case you want to understand in which courses you will get a badge or not, this is the section to look for. Then I will tell you this one here. So this course is free or not. So as the Google says that when you enroll into most of the courses, you will be able to consume course material like videos and documents for free. So all the learning material is absolutely free. And if a course has a lab, then probably you have to purchase an individual subscription or the credits to be able to consume the lab. But here I can tell you one catch. So in case you are starting with the Google uh, Cloud, when you create a Google account in the GCP, which is the Google Cloud, then you get $300 of credit absolutely free. This is for everyone. So once you have those $300 of credit, then you can use that to learn all these activities and do the labs and get your certifications and skill badges. So that was the important section I wanted to go through quickly through all the FAQs to remove all your confusions. So manage Kubernetes in Google Cloud. That was the first course I have chosen for you. Five more to go. Let's quickly run through them. And the second course I have for you is derive insights from the BigQuery data. And friends, BigQuery is so much in demand these days. Every company is running about the BigQuery. Even I am in my project. I'm actually also working on BigQuery, but we are you know, doing some kind of integrations uh, with BigQuery and uh, Azure Cloud. So that is what we are working these days. And this course is four hours and there are seven labs in this course. You will be able to write the SQL queries. You will be able to query the public tables, load sample data in BigQuery, troubleshoot the common syntax uh, issues that normally comes when you're working with the BigQuery and the SQL. Um, and not only that, you will be also able to create reports in the Lucas Studio by connecting that to the BigQuery data. So that was the second course for you. Really good course. Then I have third one for you, which is machine learning. And we will focus a little bit on machine learning and Gen AI also in subsequent courses. So third one is use machine learning APIs on Google Cloud. This has seven labs in this uh, course really good course it will give you good insights how to work with google cloud vision apis how to work with cloud translation apis and also the cloud natural language apis all of them i would say are absolutely in demand loads of companies are working on these uh, apis and learning them now i can say there is no better time than learning ai gen ai ml than it is now Fourth course I have got for you is Managing Cloud Infrastructure with Terraform. Terraform is also really great tool uh, which is in so much demand these days. Um, and let me tell you, if you don't know, Terraform is a powerful open source tool that really allows you to define uh, and provision the infrastructure like servers, like networks, storages. So infrastructure as a code, that is what you can relate Terraform to. And of course, Terraform really closely related to the DevOps concepts. So that is why super demand for DevOps and Terraform combination is really killer. And the fifth course I have for you is innovating with Google Cloud with artificial intelligence. Of course, can we forget artificial intelligence and Gen AI? And in this course, my friends, even I'm doing this course. So let me show you that. So now you can see that I'm on the learning path for the Google Digital Leader Learning Path, which is the fundamental course. It's very similar to as we do Azure Fundamentals, which is AZ900, very similar to that. 
uh, and here I am uh, you can see that I have already completed 71% of it uh, and once you go here you will of course learn the AI the machine learning and a uh, lot of other things on uh, these uh, technologies and once you go this uh, I just wanted to show you one thing so here you can see that uh, I have completed uh, multiple modules already for the digital leader for example I have completed digital transformation with uh, Google Cloud. I have also completed this exploration of the data transformation with Google Cloud. Then I have also completed this infrastructure modernization. Okay, and probably this one also scaling with Google Cloud operations. So keep learning, my friends. That's the mantra for success these days. Okay, so there are a few more aspects that I quickly want to cover, and one of them would be so here, my friends. This is the link which is support.google.com. So in case your problems, you are facing some issues or the problems with the certifications, with the skill badges or any other aspect related to Google Cloud, then you can come on to this page. All the links that I'm showcasing in this video, all the links are given in the description box and you scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will reach here. So this is the contact us page which will directly connect you with the Google support uh, staff. So that is, I just quickly wanted to showcase you because lot of new people land up in some problems here and there. So this is where you have to contact it for. And yes, my friends, there is a question or a poll I wanted to ask all of you. So which is the Google certification that you are most interested in? So it could be the choices could be Google Cloud Digital Leader, the one that I was doing. And then we have Associate Cloud Engineer. That's the second one. Third one would be Professional Data Engineer. Fourth one is machine learning engineer and the fifth one is security engineer. So let me know out of these five certification, which one you are targeting. It could be in Google, it could be in AWS or Azure because we have counterpart certification in all these cloud providers. Now let me very quickly jump and tell you what is the difference between skill badges and completion badges and then I will share some pro tip with you. So skill badges, my friends, they really focus on validating specific skill and technical abilities. While on the other hand, the completion badge is basically just an acknowledgement that you have completed this course. So a little bit uh, difference between both, uh, both of them focus area. And in case you are new to the cloud world, my suggestion would be that you start with the completion badges, do some courses, complete them, watch the videos, go through all the documentation, you know, do some quizzes. And once you are comfortable with the course material and you are feeling confident, then you go for the certification. And that is where you earn the skill badge. So that is my pro tip for you. I hope that will help you how to start with. Uh, then of course, my friends, I can give you or maybe, you know, share some other uh, pointers with you. I would say, Start with dedicating one or two hours daily in case you are a fresher, if you want to really boost in the cloud career and join the communities. It's very important that you join the, you know, there are loads of communities, there are loads of forums on internet that you can join. The main benefit of these are that it really opens your thought process. You interact with loads of fellow uh, people who are also learning the same technologies as you. And then exchange of ideas and thoughts really give you loads of food for thought and keeps you growing and you learn from each other. So that is my strongest recommendation in case you are new to the cloud world or I would say any technology. Then of course track your progress, set some targets or goals that you want to complete this certification or you want to be at this level in the learning uh, by this time. So that really gives you some discipline I would say. So I hope my friends you have got some useful information in this video. If yes, please like the video and share it within your circle. And also most importantly, please put some comments, share your thoughts. And once again, as I was saying, we learn from each other. So please exchange your thoughts in the comment section below. There are loads of other documentation given in the comment section. So please go ahead and make the best use of it. And uh, yes, that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.